हेलो एंड वेलकम टू जॉब्स एंड एजुकेशन डू सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर माय वीडियोस दिस इज़ योर महेश डोले दिस इज़ द एथ वीडियो इन द सीरीज ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स फॉर ई सेट एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ तेलंगाना एंड आंध्र प्रदेश स्टेट्स सो दिस सीरीज इज़ कवरिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर मेकानिकल इंजीनियरिंग कांपिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वन ऑफ द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ ए सॉलिड फ्यूल इज सो वाट इज अडवांटेज ऑफ अ सॉलिड फ्यूल एमंग दीज ऑप्शन दट ईज ईज ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट वेन वी कंपेर विद द लिक्विड एंड गैस फ्यूल सो सालिड फ्यूल ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इज वेरी ईजी सो सालिड फ्यूल कैन बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड वेरी ईजीली वेन कंपेर टू लिक्विड एंड गैस and gaseous fuels are very difficult to carry as they escape easily and highly inflammable look at this uh, there are some uh, leakage problems with liquid and gaseous fuels whereas uh, solid fuels don't have that kind of problems second question reads which are used as rocket propellants in olden days which are used as rocket propellants in olden days so the options are like solid fuels liquid fuels petroleum gaseous fuels hence the correct answer is solid fuels used as rocket propellants in olden days third question reads most available form of solid fuel is this is general question and basic one so the options are coal wood petrol and lignite so the most available form of solid fuel is wood next question reads For the generation of electricity, which source is used largely throughout the world to generate the electricity? The source is maybe coal or hydropower or wood or solar energy. The correct answer is coal. So with the coal, the generation of electricity is possible largely throughout the world. Next question reads: Which of the following process is correct in the process of conversion of wood into coal? So, how the wood is converting into coal? Which process is important? Look at this. The four options are there. In that, the right one is wood. Next level is peat. After that, lignite. After that, bituminous coal. And further, it can become like a anthracite coal also. Moving on to the next question: Which of the following fuel requires less storage? space so which occupies a less storage space among the following options so the correct answer is kerosene occupies less storage space when we compare with methane gas coal and cow dung next question reads which type of combustion is seen in liquid fuel so the type of combustion in liquid fuels so among the given options are The correct answer is A. That is, uniform and complete combustion is possible with liquid fuels when we compare with the solid fuels. Next question reads: Which of the following fuel does not requires excess air for its combustion? So, which of the following fuel does not requires excess air for its combustion? So, the options are coal, cow dung cake, diesel, charcoal. Hence the correct answer is diesel. So diesel does not requires excess air. Next question: Which kind of liquid fuels are risky to store? Which kind of liquid fuels are risky to store? So the options given after observing observing these options, the correct answer is inflammable and volatile. So inflammable and volatile liquid fuels are risky to store. the temperature of the surrounding increases to a high value then the inflammable liquid fuels will burn quickly so in the presence of volatile matter will cause the liquid fuels to burn with long flames that's why inflammable liquid fuels are very dangerous next question reads petroleum is found in generally petroleum is uh, found in the earth but in, in which uh, stage petroleum is found in crust of the earth or earth crust next question which gaseous fuel is found dissolved in petroleum on the earth surface in oil and gas bearing areas which gaseous fuel is found dissolved in petroleum on the earth surface in oil and gas bearing areas the options are natural gas coal gas mound gas and producer gas 
hence the correct answer is natural gas next question reads which gaseous fuel is obtained by carbonization of bituminous coal so carbonization of bituminous coal the gaseous fuel obtained may be blast furnace gas coal gas producer gas a coke oven gas hence the correct answer is coke oven gas next question reads which gaseous fuel is produced by passing air and steam over waste coal so which gaseous fuel is produced by passing air and steam over waste coal that may be uh, blast furnace gas a coal gas a mound gas a coke oven gas hence the correct answer is mound gas is produced from the waste coal by passing air and steam next question reads which of the fuels give enormous amount of energy which gives more amount of energy that may be gaseous fuels or solid fuels or liquid fuels or nuclear fuels so the correct answer is nuclear fuels will give enormous amount of energy next question reads the following is the desirable property or properties of good internal combustion engine fuel so desirable property may be high energy content per unit quantity of fuel or free from fire hazards low toxicity or all of the above hence the correct answer is all of the above these are the good properties of a good fuel for ic engines next question reads the solid fuels can be used in ic engine only after their maybe solidification or maybe after uh, liquidification or uh, gasification or all of the above hence the correct answer is after their gasification so the solid fuels can be used in ic engines only after their gasification so solid fuels also can use in ic engines but after gasification the major constituent of natural gas is so natural gas is mostly consist of methane so out of these four ethane propane uh, butane so methane is a major constituent of natural gas next question reads which of the following gas or gases is used as fuel in ic engines or internal combustion engines which of the following gas is used as fuel in internal combustion engine so the options are liquefied petroleum gas lpg blast furnace gas coke oven gas and all of the above here take this question as challenge so after uh, reading this question and get the answer after knowing the answer just answer this question in the comment section below so read this question understand and comment the answer below next question reads a mixture of theoretical air and fuel for complete combustion of fuel is called a mixture of theoretical air and fuel for complete combustion of fuel is called that may be rich mixture or lean mixture or air fuel mixture or stoichiometric mixture so a mixture of theoretical air and fuel for complete combustion of fuel is called stoichiometric mixture next question reads the difference of actual air supplied and the stoichiometric air required for complete combustion of fuel is called the difference of actual air supplied and the stoichiometric air required for complete combustion of fuel is called that may be excess air or theoretical air or combustion air or dry air hence the correct answer is excess air the difference of actual air supplied and the stoichiometric air required for complete combustion of fuel is called excess air so these are uh, most important questions we can expect in the examination thank you for watching this video do subscribe and share my videos this is your mahesh dole